Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya and today I'm going to do a reaction video. Um, this over here is Cody, my cat, um, one of my cats, and he usually joins me for videos. Um, today I'm going to do a reaction to a video called Australian Stereotypes. This was a suggested video in my Discord and I thought it was uh, a really good video to do for, for a reaction, you know, um, so I'm definitely going to uh, enjoy doing this one. And there's another one that the same person, um, suggested like months ago. Cause sometimes like, um, there's a lot of reaction request request in there and I'll go through it later on sometimes and kind of pick and choose. So like if somebody put something ye uh, yesterday, I'm not I'm usually immediately gonna, um, react to it, but this one was um, recent. But there is another one that he suggested a while back that I I do still plan on doing. Um, so I'm not ignoring them. I just want to let the Discord people know. Um, some of them are not really quite the type of reactions that I want to do on my channel, so I won't do those, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's, so let's go ahead and get into this. <laughs> okay, so really quick, um, before I start this video, I wanted to remind everybody that my memberships are turned on. It's only $4.99 a month if you would like to join. Um, I do a lot of early access videos where uh, the members will get um, early access to a video anywhere from 24 hours early to I had one up there for six weeks and then I made it public. Um, I just filmed a video that uh, I that is going to be members only and it will stay members only. And um, it is, I don't really do music reactions anymore, um, but I did a music reaction for my uh, members only. And this one was something that a lot of people wanted me to do. Um, I, I reacted, it was the first time reaction to uh, Mahalia Barnes. Um, Jimmy Barnes, I absolutely love and adore. And he did a, he's done duets with his daughter, Mahalia Barnes. And so I chose one of those to do, and I did that for members only. So these are the types of things that, that I do. And I also do a lot of like, um, posts and pictures and stuff like that, that I don't do for, for the public. Um, you know, so anyway, that's, that's the news on that. Um, I also have a Discord, which is completely free. You could just come and hang out, hang out with me and whoever's in there. Um, and we just, we talk, we share memes. We just hang out like friends. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just thought it might be good to teach you how not to sit on a chair. All right, now that that's out of the way, Indy, I'm gonna need you to pull your head in, mate. Stop mucking around. Hello. You didn't need to come, but. <laughs> She's cute already. <laughs> oh, did I ever say the name of her channel or her name? I did not. Uh, Brienne Worth. That is the name of uh, her channel. She has a pretty big channel, 258,000 subscribers. It's nice to see you. So I, Cute in the dog. past, have expressed my lack of delight in making these Australian type videos, but I'm worried that some of you might actually implode if I don't upload one of these. I get quite a lot of requests to make these videos. Some dude yelled at me across the street to make an Australian video, and not in a rude way either. This is very polite yelling. So here we are. I'm gonna be assessing, analyzing, critiquing, comparing, and contrasting Australian stereotypes. Basically just reading what people think Australians are and saying whether or not it's bullshit. Before we get started, subscribe if you feel like it but go follow me on instagram at brianne worth also if you like this serotonin t-shirt it's available at my clothing brand riff supply co i will talk about that later i have heard that australia is a great place uh before we, she starts this um i just want to say that stereotypes i think are um i personally think that they're born out of a tiny speck of truth to some of it and then the rest of it is completely exaggerated that was ghost he always has to do that um, so I think that like, and, and it doesn't matter what country, it could be England, America, Australia, New Zealand, China, like it doesn't matter. Stereotypes um, are just over exaggerations of maybe a tiny bit of truth. And then some stereotypes are probably just, oh my God, you guys, are probably just completely made up. So I don't know. Let's see what they are. Live in that people are way more relaxed. Well, that's probably a hard one to start on. That's difficult to answer. As with anything, like yes and no. Some stereotypes are outright not true, but that one I feel like has some truth to it. I feel like for the most part, there is a culture of everyone being quite laid back. However, like any other country, we do have a vast selection of uptight assholes. 
readily available <laughs> wherever you want them. What's the rest of it? It's a great place to live. I would agree with that 100%. It's really beautiful here. The scenery and the nature here is gorgeous. The beaches are friggin' mint. Like even our shit yes. ones are pretty good. Got nice waterfalls, like nice. The scenery is gorgeous from what I've seen in these videos. Okay, sorry about the interruption. I have five cats over here right now. Um, the scenery that I have seen in the videos um, of the beach. Oh my God, the beaches. That's the beaches are incredible. Um, and everything else that I've seen, it's just, it is very beautiful there. Mountains, forests, like beautiful rainforest, the most diverse rainforest in the world, even over the Amazon. We've got the reef, we've got Uluru, we've got like red desert backing onto like really turquoise oceans in some parts. There's snow so sometimes. Cool. The economy is like generally not too bad, a little bit too reliant on mining, but pretty good still. We've got good healthcare, it is a point of contention for some people, but we have a great welfare system. What else have we got? koalas and I rest my case. The people are ungodly beautiful. Depends. Really depends. Oh my god, are the kids ride to school on a kangaroo. If I see this one more time, I'm going to shoot the person that writes it. But I can't because we've got great gun laws. <laughs> They're heading Wait, th <laughs> there's a stereotype that people, that kids ride kangaroos to school? That's, I've never heard that. That's weird. It just says barbecue. I agree. Yeah, look, we do froth the barbecue. I didn't know this. I was talking to someone from overseas the other day, meaning either yesterday or six months ago, I have no idea. And they said they don't have public barbecues. Um, I'm sorry that your government doesn't love you. I just feel like everyone's got this staple memory of like their favorite park when they were younger and all the families would go together and cook on the public barbecue. Put alpha oil down first or like bring your own cleaning products, especially, <laughs> especially since there was that barbecue pooper for a while there. There was some guy that was going around shitting on all the, bar the shitting Ew. on all the public barbecue. It's not funny. That is gross. Uh. <laughs> oh god um in america we do have public barbecues well i mean at least in illinois where i live we do have public barbecues at you know parks and you know things of that nature so america has those leave a comment if you had like the barbecue memory as a child i want to see if that's like a universal thing foster's beer no one drinks that we've got a lot of nice like craft beers, pale ales, whatever you want. Local breweries, like they're everywhere. Why would you drink f***ing Fosters? If you're an Australian that drinks Fosters, you are literally getting deported tomorrow by me. Okay, sorry about that. Violet decided she wanted to start climbing on the curtain. Let's continue. Australians wrestle crocodiles. No, we don't. <laughs> there is a handful of Australians that might wrestle crocodiles for fun. And I think it just ends at the Irwin family. We don't have alligators. Alligators are quite docile compared to like saltwater crocodiles, which is what we have here, which are animals that have just basically won the evolutionary jackpot. Saltwater crocodiles can live for months and months and months without any food. And they just sit there perfectly still and wait for something to come past and use all that energy grabbing it rather than like hunting it down. They are super intelligent for a lizard. Don't quote me verbatim on this, but there was that um, that instance where there were a group of campers and they were kind of camped near this river or something. And they'd been there for a few days and they kind of obviously humans have a routine that they get into. Saltwater crocodile was watching them, learnt their routine and then attacked based on when he knew they were sleeping in the tent. I don't know why the croc is a he, but it is now. <laughs> Speaking of waiting and lurking, their whole body is designed. Their body is like this and their two eyes go up like that so that they can be completely submerged and no one can see them and they can still have their eyes above the water so they can see everything scary, that's happening. Scary. On top of that, they are 100% pure muscle. If you hold your hand out like this for a while, it'll start to shake eventually. Same as if you use any of your muscles for too long. Crocodiles can hold like perfectly still, eerily still, not disturb the water, not do anything, just hold 110% still so as to not disturb the water above them when they are lurking. They're bridges on their backs. I don't know what they're called. Not scales, but if scales were like on steroids, those things are apparently designed in such a way that they like redirect water so when they're like moving under the water they don't disturb the top layer of water or something like that just look into it honestly look into it it's amazing they're cold-blooded so if they can't eat for a while they can just sit there and they don't basically not using any energy whatsoever and they'll just wait for food to come to them much like myself that's very scary <laughs>
<laughs> they have this transparent me, eyelid that goes over their eye when they're diving so they can still see underwater but their eye is protected. They can close their ear flaps so water doesn't get in. They have wow. a flap in their throat that closes so that they can eat and not swallow water and drown themselves. Like, I'm pretty sure, again, don't quote me on this, I can't be f googling it. I'm pretty sure they swallow rocks to help them digest things. They literally well, shift that. their lungs, like move their lungs. Imagine moving your lungs, but they move their lungs to like shift their center of gravity and move themselves up or down on each side of it. So they physically move their lungs around like floats. And I'm not even getting into a crocodile's jaw and all the like force and mechanisms going on with that. This was supposed to be a video about stereotypes, not my favorite crocodile facts. Um, anyway, we don't wrestle crocodiles, I think is the, the point of that message. For all of those reasons, we don't wrestle. Um, real quick, I just wanted to say, um, I think a lot of people don't realize that America does have crocodiles. Um, but they are only in the very southern, southern part of Florida where there's also alligators. So the southern part of Florida has both alligators and crocodiles. Um, and then alligators are also in like Louisiana and like all the, the deep south area in that region, you're going to find alligators. Um, but Florida does have crocodiles. Most of Australia is desert. Um, I mean, what? yeah, no, that's true. But is most it? of the population lives something like within an hour's drive of the coastline. People do live in the desert. Don't know why. Australians are self-absorbed. I would be inclined to agree with this. Case in point, the popularity of these videos and the people who watch them. Anytime an Australian achieves anything, the whole country steps up to claim it. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. And I also don't think it's unique to Australia. I think every country does this every, to an extent. I think every I do country think it kind of does be it. Because Australians are not um, like internationally represented in the media very much. Like growing up, for example, you're far more likely to see like American actors or British actors in movies and you're less likely to see Australians and even less likely again to see them. Honestly, I think this is why um, I have been so interested in Australia since I was a child because I grew up watching, you know, I'm American, so I grew up watching a lot of just American stuff. I have watched things, you know, from other countries, but, um, and, and we, and we, have learned a lot about England and the UK and it's presented here. It's talked about a lot here. Um, and, but Australia is not something that is talked about a lot. And whenever I would see, you know, like pictures or videos on TV or something of Australia when I was little, um, I was totally in awe. I thought it was the coolest place and New Zealand too. I thought they were so beautiful. Uh, but, Australia was kind of a mystery to me. So um, the little bit that I had seen of Australia in movies and stuff when I was younger, it just made me like want to want to know about it because it's not talked about a, a whole lot and presented a whole lot. You know, I think it, I think it's different now with the internet. But like when I was younger, um, you know, it was mostly like American stuff and uh, stuff from the U and like British stuff that that we would see. You know. Um, although I did as a kid watch Bananas in Pajamas, I did watch that as a kid. <laughs> okay, let's get back into the video. As Australians and not like pretending to be American or British or whatever it is. Obviously there's heaps more Australian actors everywhere now, but maybe the reason we do get like quite excited when there's like Australian uh, like media representation, whether that's in a YouTube video or a movie or sports, whatever it is, maybe it's just because we don't see it as often as everyone else, you know? So yeah, probably a bit self-absorbed, I don't know. Aussies speak Australian, not English. What? The language we speak is definitely English. Loosely, very loosely. Every animal is trying to kill you. I think we like to play this one up a bit, but no. <laughs> We've got like the worst kind of crocodiles, saltwater crocodiles, obviously. Box jellyfish, shit scared of those. Irukandji jellyfish. The blue ring octopus can kill you in like three minutes. Eight or nine out of 10 of the world's most deadly snakes. Not a good stat. <laughs> Cone shells, you pick up a shell at the beach, put it to your ear and you get like harpooned by this oh. little animal that kills you. Stonefish. Oh. We've got stonefish. Oh, like we've got sharks, heaps of sharks. A lot of these are all water related though. So like it, as long as you're on land, all you have to deal with is like the snakes and the spiders, which yeah, I mean, we have snakes and spiders here, so it's not a big deal. 
forgot spiders. We've got so many spiders. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go into all of them. We've got so many venomous spiders. They're all the bad ones, I guess. And then there's like the tier below that that are just incredibly painful but won't kill you. There's plants. That'll f you up for the rest of your life. Stinging tree is a classic. If you brush up against it even a little bit, it puts all of these like harpoon like spear things. I heard about this. Whatever That's, it is oof. into your skin. Can't really get them out ever. Super, super painful apparently. And the pain like doesn't go away for months. And even after years and years and years, if you scratch it or something, it still hurts. Hair never grows back in that spot. It's like, a, it's a whole thing. You've got yeah. waiter wiles which are pretty cool plants. I got one of those stuck in my head once. <laughs> it was not a good time. But if you're ever lost in the rainforest, the vine leading up to that plant, you can cut it open and it's basically like a water tap with the freshest water in the world. Delicious, wow. would recommend. Try and avoid getting it stuck in your head though. Gone on another tangent. What was the original question? Every animal is trying to kill you. Despite all of what I just said, the likelihood that you're gonna run into any or all of those things is super low. And if you just not- Yeah, I agree. Um... America also has very, very dangerous animals, a lot of very dangerous animals. And whenever I hear an American say, um, oh, I'm too scared to go to Australia, we'll die with all those animals. I'm always like, what are you talking about? We have all the, we have all these dangerous animals too here. Like <laughs> that's, it's ridiculous to think like that. Um, and the, the likelihood, like she said, that you're gonna run into any of these animals is very small unless you're someone who is purposely going out and maybe you're surfing and you have those um, fears of maybe getting attacked by a shark or some, a jellyfish or something. And if you're hiking, um, you have the chances of running into uh, a cougar or a snake or um, a bear, depending on where you are, you know, like you have chances of, of running into dangerous animals in America too. It's just that, um, it's just where you just, where you're going, you know, if you're doing something where wild animals are living and that's their home, you're putting yourself in that situation, but the day-to-day -day life, it, you're less likely to run into these things, you know, so. An idiot, you should be able to avoid most of them. Australians are always drunk. <laughs> I feel like the younger generation is significantly less drunk than the older generation. So adolescent I actually drinking agree with fell that. from 45% in 1999 to 25% in 2015. Pretty big jump. 18 to 24 year olds dropped as well. But older Australians are either not slowing down their drinking or they're actually increasing. So good job guys. <laughs> Make of that what you will. All Australians are really, really tan. Um, for the most part, I think that's a fat no. I see a quite a lot of pasty people around. It never snows in Australia, it's just always hot. It snows sometimes. Don't ask me where, but it does. Threadbow, snows there. And even though it's hot, so frequently, it's not always hot. Exhibit A, wearing a jacket. Uh, I was scared to look up the temperature now because I'm gonna look like a little bitch. <laughs> I grew up in the tropics, I can't handle the cold at all. It's 23 degrees, so that's cool i'm cold but i would say that's cool for most people i don't know don't at me australia has no culture of without looking it up i don't know what 23 is is that like low 70s fahrenheit i'd have to look it up you call this sweetie we do have culture it's just everyone else's though australians live for meat pies can confirm mm -hmm. oh buddy do i love a meat pie oh my god i'm sad the bakery's closed Does everyone have a local bakery that they like claim is just the best bakery yes. on planet earth because mine's down the road and it is literally the best bakery oh, it's hard to say though because there's one in my hometown also the best bakery on planet earth if you're in brizzy can you comment some good bakeries thank you Aussie. um i do have uh, my a favorite bakery in town. It's it's pretty close to here, and it's been there my whole life. And they have the best donuts ever. <laughs> and we used to get the kids birthday cakes from there too. Also live for Tim Tams. I oh, I do. Oh. Aussies wear thongs Tim all Tams day every day. So Bold of you to assume we Oops, wear. Sorry, I if you're that. in Brizzy, can I'm you comment good. some good baker? Um, the Tim Tams, oh, so freaking good. I I have well, I had three packages in total, um, and I only have one left. And the, the thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the Tim Tam Slam because when, like, when they're sent, they're, they were kind of melty, you know? So maybe that's why um, I can't really do it. I don't know. 
Aussies. Thank you. Aussies also live for Tim Tams. I, oh, I do. Aussies wear thongs all day, every day. Bold of you to assume we wear shoes at all. All Australians have a pet koala. Shocked and upset that I don't. The people spamming me to make another one of these and the guy who uh, yelled out across the street to make one. Hope you're satisfied. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Brienne Worth. Also, I did say I would talk about my clothing line, Riff Supply Co. We've actually had a bunch of new tees drop on the website. My favorite t-shirt out of these changes pretty much every day, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. It's that so is a cool looking it's shirt. Really, really light and comfortable. I can't even begin to describe how comfy it is. Got free shipping on orders over 100 bucks within Australia. So if you order stuff with a friend or just get a few tees at once, you can get free shipping because who the ever living f wants to pay shipping? I don't. I'm gonna go try and hunt down a pie at this time of day. Probably not gonna happen. Might have to get a servo pie. Oh, wow. She's cool. I like her. I like her. She's like a no bullshit kind of person. And I really appreciate people like that. You guys, my Discord members, um, they know. They know. But she was, um, she was really cool. I enjoyed her video. She went through these uh, really fast. Twisty, stop. Um, she, <laughs> she went through her list really fast. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know why... Some of those that she said were a little bit ridiculous. Like, why would anyone think that everyone there has a pet koala? I think that's really weird that anyone would think that. I don't know. But yeah, stereotypes can be one of those things that's just, um, it's just weird. And we all, we all go through it. There's American stereo stereotypes, British stereotypes, Asian stereotypes. There's all these stereotypes. So we all go through it. We all understand it. And we all know that it might come from a speck of truth and then everyone exaggerates it. So here comes Swisty again. I think this is uh, it, what a bad idea for me to film this late in the day because that's why all these cats are crazy. <laughs> but anyway, I really enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for the suggestion. Um, I like her. I don't know what type of videos she normally does because she was saying that she hasn't done one like this in a while. Um, I don't know, she's just a vlogger? She does kind of a lot of stuff like me, like she reacts to stuff and she might have some vlogs or something. But yeah, I really enjoyed her, so um, I think I would like to check her out again sometime. Whether it's a reaction or in my own time, I don't know, but um, but she's she's really fun, I like her. Uh, so Brienne Worth, if... Um, if you, if you guys enjoyed her video too, please go to her channel and subscribe. Um, I'm subscribing right now. I think she's very cool. Um, notifications on. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you next time.